What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Gear Inc. where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. And on my channel, that's PC Tech, Games, and Gear. And before we get into today's topic, remember that if you haven't already, enter the RX 588GB giveaway going on down below in the description. Um, and Citizen Jags giveaway for Star Citizen, $125 gift bundle. All going on on the channel net, uh, right now, guys. Good luck to everyone who's entering it, but let's talk about today's topic. So the topic of today's video is should you buy the new Ryzen motherboards or keep your current one if you're buying a new Ryzen CPU? Um, it's a hard question to answer and I have mixed feelings on it. So I don't know if any of you remember, but AMD sold everyone kind of on this idea. And the idea was that you could keep your current motherboard and not have to buy a new one um, all the way up to their seven nanometer die for the CPU. This isn't really Ryzen 2 we're getting right now, it's Ryzen Plus. It's a smaller nanometer die, yes, but it's really a refresh of the architecture, not an entirely new architecture like Navi is supposed to be. However, where I have conflicting emotions is that if there's significant improvement to the platform, that's always a good thing. But if that significant improvement comes at the detriment to people who have the current motherboard where you're literally missing out on crazy performance difference by not upgrading, then as a gamer, you might as well stay with Intel as Intel is typically going to perform better in gaming um, when we're talking about it versus AMD. So. It's kind of, like I said, I have conflicting emotions on it, but let's talk about the three things that we know um, basically for sure with this new platform that's different from last year. So on the X470 chipset, the first thing we know that it's supposedly streamlined is power delivery. Makes a lot of sense as the CPUs are gonna be running at higher clocks. Now I'm not talking obviously about the California Energy Commission that they have slapped on these motherboards, which to me that just shows that mining, obviously they're sucking up all the energy in California. So it kind of made me smile. I'm talking specifically about power delivery in overclocking so supposedly it's been streamlined it's supposed to be much more efficient which is what we want to hear but again if that means that you're only going to be able to get the best overclocking or not even the best but a, there's a significant difference on these new motherboards to me that's a problem in that it definitely you know forces you if you're into that to buy these new motherboards now the second thing that we know is coming is uh, xfr 2.0 and precision boost 2.0 now these are technologies that revolve around the speed of the cpu so all ryzen cpus not not just the X variants have XFR extended frequency range technology. The X variants typically have a larger margin as far as how much they'll uh, increase their speed, but essentially the gist of it is this. The uh, CPUs, if they're properly cooled, will overclock one to two cores faster than the Precision Boost clock itself. So Precision Boost brings it so far, XFR kind of pushes it over the edge, depending on thermals, and it's not on all the cores, but it does make a marked improvement in difference if you're using um, applications like gaming, um, as one or two of those cores are gonna run faster and that absolutely will affect performance. So XFR 2.0 and Precision Boost 2.0 are you know refined technologies that are coming out for the new CPUs as well. Now the last thing and probably the most legitimate reason to buy the new motherboard is RAM support. If anybody else bought Ryzen Day 1 like I did, you know it was an absolute shit show. Now that's not to say I haven't enjoyed being on Ryzen. I was on Intel for five years and Ryzen made sense for what I was trying to do, but I don't fanboy either way. If Intel comes out with a better product tomorrow, I'll switch right back, I don't care. But the thing of it is, is that if you did buy day one, you know how bad RAM support was, how bad the BIOS updates were. I literally bricked my motherboard overclocking the RAM, you know, and I've overclocked many, many times before. Not only that, but I think one of my sticks died as well. It was a nightmare. So we know, hopefully from you know preliminary um, reviews on this stuff, that that has been well streamlined and the support for it is much greater. So now you can supposedly use much higher um, speeds of RAM. And that's a big deal for Ryzen specifically because the Infinity architecture that is uh, part of the CPU directly benefits from faster RAM in a way that Intel just doesn't. With Intel, you can use a lower kit of RAM, and yes, are you going to get an improvement if you use faster RAM with Intel? Of course you are, but it is not nearly as dramatic as it is with AMD. So if we're being kind of pigeonholed into getting the fastest RAM to get a dramatic improvement in the performance, well, again, that's a problem because it's just forcing you to move off of your current motherboard. So guys, if you are going to be buying these new motherboards, understand that there are a few things that you're definitely getting, RAM support probably being the most important thing to me, but I personally look forward to testing the new CPU on my 
current motherboard and seeing how far I can push it. And I should have that in hand within the next couple of days. So anyway, guys, I hope this video um, was helpful. Or if you've been thinking about the same things, I just want to share my point of view. If you like this video, leave me a big thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and leave me a thumbs down. But get subscribed, guys. The channel continues to grow. Thank you for all of your support. Patreon, guys, thank you for your support. Twitch subs, thank you for your support. And thank you to everyone who uses my Amazon affiliate link as you guys make a huge difference to the quality of these giveaways on my channel. Remember, 10,000 subs is our next giveaway goal, and we're actually really dang close. So anyway, guys, I hope to see you all next time here on Geared Inc.